fraudulent procurement and conspiracy were brought against Emifele. Throughout the whole saga, Mr. Godwin Emifele was kept under, de de under detention by the DSS for over four months, not minding the breach of his legally guaranteed right to personal liberty, dignity of human person and fair hearing. Under Section 35 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, every individual shall be have the right to personal liberty and to security of, of his person, and no one may be deprived of his freedom except for reason and conditions laid down by law. Simply put, no one may be arbitrarily arrested and detained, judging from the action of high powers that be in government. There is manifest infringement of Mr. Godwin Emifele's right to personal liberty without any form of justification whatsoever. We note that Emifele is not kept in detention because he is already convicted of a criminal offense and is serving a jail term in respect thereof. He was not detained for four months by DSS and transferred to the EFCC on 26 October 2023 for purpose of being brought before a court of competent jurisdiction. Rather, his detention smacks of nothing but witch hunt, as same as unreasonable. We submit that his further arrest and detention amounts to double jeopardy. It is overzealousness on the part of EFCC and waste of government scarce resources to subject an innocent citizen to, to such ordeal just to teach him a lesson. Members of the public, I worried that the EFCC has allowed itself to be used as an instrument of operation rather than the anti-corruption agencies that it ought to be. Section 36 of the Constitution provided to the effect that every person who is arrested or charged with a criminal offense shall be presumed innocent until he is proved guilty. Nigeria practices the adversarial system of justice which places upon the prosecution the onus of proving an alleged crime beyond reasonable doubt before a dependent can be convicted and sentenced to jail. Such adjudication process is supposed to start and end within a reasonable time. Hence, if the federal government for whatever reason is unable to prosecute Mr. Godwin Ebifele after a period of four months in detention and still counting, then it behoves on them to release him conditionally or otherwise, so that he will reunite with his family and go back to his normal businesses as a law-abiding citizen. Gentlemen of the press, recall how Abdul Rashid Bawa, the former EFCC chairman, was released from DSS detention after 134 days in detention. The question that Nigerians are asking now, if Abdul Rashid Bawa can be released to go home, why is the case of Mr. Godwin Emifele different? Is it because that Emifele has committed heavier offenses than Bawa? Or the federal government is being biased along ethnic and religious lines? What more will the EFCC investigate about Emifele, different from what the DSS did for several months? We call on President Bola Ahmed Tinibu GCFR to rise to the occasion and prove himself as a true democrat that he had been, which endeared him to many Nigerians before, during and after the 2023 general elections. We state authoritatively that the tossing of Mr. Godwin Emifele like a football in the field from one government agency to another in the name of investigation is unacceptable and will be frontally resisted by all well-meaning Nigerians. We totally reject this just a poor way of doing things because Nigeria is no longer under a military junta where the rights of innocent citizens can be abruptly suspended. Gra granted that President Tinubu is doing everything possible to rid the country of corruption, a reposition same on the part of economic growth and sustainable development through his renewed hope agenda. It is therefore our expectation that he will as well as, as well exercise some level of caution so that his activities will remain within the ambit of local and international human rights laws, instruments and protocols. On a final note, we hereby demand that Mr. Godwin Emifele should be released from EFCC detention or be charged to a court of competent jurisdiction within the next seven days, counting from today. In the unlikely event 
that is demand that this demand is not met after the expiration of the seven days ultimatum, then the federal government will have the overwhelming population of our coalition to contend with across the country. We shall continue to mobilize the media, international observers, and other sister civil society organizations to take various actions and measures until justice is served to Mr. Godwin Emifele.